I studied abroad because I've always wanted to study abroad, but as an engineering major, it's really hard to get credits that'll transfer over. However, this is taught by our teachers, the accredited classes, so that was really worked well into my schedule. Um, I would recommend studying abroad to anyone. It's 10 times more fun than any brochure looks like or you'd ever expect. And I would definitely do it over, but my one regret is I wish it was a semester instead of a summer. The main reason I wanted to study abroad is because I went on a trip abroad to Scotland and Ireland with the University Scholars Program. And after that, I knew I wanted to travel more. And it worked out perfectly that I could go and get some engineering coursework in Czech Republic. I had a blast. I would absolutely do it again, and I would recommend any engineering student to do so. Um, so my main reason for studying abroad was to get some credits for CE classes because I'm a fifth year senior, so I really needed um, you know some extra credit, <laughs> basically, and um, just to have good quality friends. Well, I study abroad for a variety of reasons, primarily being to see the world. I hadn't gone outside the country for an extended period of time, so it's on a small trip, and I really wanted to see and experience a place I'd never been before, see what it was like, didn't want my worldview to be constricted to just what the United States were or was. Also, I, um, it didn't hurt that I got six credit hours, got ahead in my courses, and I just wanted to experience something new, a life-changing experience. Um, studying abroad was one of those experiences that I wanted to check off the list during um, my college experience and I didn't know too many people in the civil department before I went on the trip and now we're all really, really great friends, family, um, and I really, I really enjoyed the experience of um, exploring a new country with a bunch of people. So I studied abroad mostly because I, I had never been to Europe. Um, so this was a completely different experience for me and it was a great opportunity to get some classes out of the way while at the same time doing some things I would never done before. I knew I would have a chance to meet professors on a much more personal level um, and overall it was just a nice change of pace experience to a class. It was a great challenge for me to try to balance classes and, and having fun and ultimately resulted in an outstanding experience for me. Um, I think for me, I mean, I was a sophomore in civil engineering. I didn't know too many people. I haven't really gotten, at that point, into my civil engineering courses. So having the opportunity to study abroad with all these, you know, older upperclassmen, um, hearing their experience <laughs> at NC State and their course loads and just talking about the curriculum um, and getting to know professors in the department, that was such a huge advantage, I feel like. When I heard about the program, I figured it would be a uh, fantastic way to really get out in the world and take um, classes I needed to fulfill, fulfill for my major. Um, and Dr. Razdorf and Dr. Saris, you know, um, praised the trip and spoke highly of what we had learned. And um, after the trip was over, I had an immensely incredible experience, saw parts of Europe I would, I would probably never see again, um, learned quite a bit. And with the classes being so short, you really learn the material very well. It stays very relevant in your mind, and it's a really incredible experience. Um, as far as the experiences, one thing I wish I would have done differently is say yes to anything that was offered from the very beginning. Because there's so many people there that are going with NC State, and everyone's going to be trying to do something different, like going to a show, going for a to this park or going to a concert. And so just say yes. If someone's like, I'm going to jump on a train and go to Terrazin for a weekend, say yes if you want to go. Don't just sit at your place and do nothing. Talk on Netflix or watch Netflix. Talk to people back home because those people back home want you to have a good time. Also, a lot of the classes, there's going to be other classes there than CE, and a lot of those classes will go on field trips during random times of the week. And those professors would love to have you come as well. So if you ever hear about a class going to take a tour, like going to an exhibit, Go ahead and talk to the professor and go ahead and jump on that free trip and experience a little bit more prong. You know, you treat it as if you'll never go back. This is a new place that you're going and just do as much as you possibly can and maximize uh, the amount of fun you have on this trip. So I would recommend to anyone, once you get there, you get some sleep, of course, but then start looking around, start finding stuff, you know, start talking to people, start meeting people, don't let nerves or, you know, being afraid hold you back because just losing a day can end up making, making you miss something very important. If there's one thing I would have done different is uh, it would have been planning. So a lot of us, when we got there, 
kind of planned our weekend travel trips right there during the program. So during class time, we would discuss what we're going to do, and it was a bit rushed. So if I had to do it again here stateside, I would meet with maybe some people that are going on the trip and decide ahead of time where we'd be going, because that way your ticket prices are cheaper, you have more kind of security and you know, peace of mind, and you're not rushing around during class time when you should be out visiting Prague to plan a trip. So. Big thing I would say is just get to know everyone that you're taking classes with and that you're going with because that's one of the best things I took away from this trip was just making a group of about 20 friends that I didn't have before and we stuck together and traveled together and just had a great time together. So don't be shy, just get out there, meet some people and also don't be afraid to do anything. Go, go to a different country, you know, just experience it. You're only there for six weeks, make them count. There are two main things that I took away from study abroad that I never expected to get from the experience. And one of those was just a whole new group of friends. Um, I came back and all my classes suddenly were basically everyone I'm in Prague with. I think there's eight of us graduating together now. And those are my new homework partners, my new go-to go people when I have problems. Like first people I invite to my parties, everything. <laughs> so, I mean, I see these guys every day and I can't imagine if I just didn't know them especially on that more personal level when you do study abroad and go through certain experiences together. Also, another thing that came out of it was when I was applying for my job, they were looking through and saw that I had my study abroad experience, and they said, wow, you studied abroad. Like That's something we really look for because you're able to think on your toes, you're able to make decisions, and especially like for a construction or engineering type of environment, you can make quick decisions that are you know in situations you wouldn't expect to be in. The biggest thing I took away from the trip is how you develop personally. You learn a lot when you go to a completely unfamiliar place and you travel throughout the city, you meet new people, you're around new languages. And just being there, you realize that there's much more to life than what you're accustomed to. So I think one of the biggest things um, when we studied abroad, you know, you can travel to all these different countries. Prague is in the best location, I think, in Europe. Um, I mean, I went to Germany, I went to Austria. I went to Slovakia. There's so many countries you can go to, and you know, being in Prague, it's really simple for a student to get places. There's um, a student travel agency, and they will arrange, you know, a bus for you, uh, transportation. They'll help you find a hostel. Um, you know, it's very easy to arrange going somewhere on the weekend if that's what you're interested in. And that is something you know I highly recommend. You know, you're right there. You might as well go see other countries and experience different cultures. Kind of going off of what Kara said, um, it's really cheap to travel around Europe as a student if you're not asking for too much. Um, we stay in hostels under $20 a night. Um, train rides were under like $20 as well. Uh, I traveled to Austria, Berlin, and I traveled to London. London is expensive, but um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely learned a lot of new things like how to communicate with people efficiently even though they didn't know what I was talking about in English. <laughs> um, traveling by myself has taught me a lot um, about myself and how to just react to different situations. I think that was the main pull away that I got from that. So picking off that, <laughs> um, yeah so even though it is really cheap to go other places, definitely just soak in Prague because it is beautiful and there's much more you can do there than you think. And I know we didn't do all of it and we definitely wanted to and it's just really a great place to study. Um, my study abroad experience was really an unforgettable kind of lifetime experience and I made friends that I'll kind of be friends with forever. I saw sites that I you know, may not ever see again and really learned material and got to know professors very well, which are all experiences that, you know, are just kind of like, you know, either now or never. So I highly recommend it and something you're going to look back on when you've done it and say, oh, I'm so glad I did it. So I highly, highly recommend it. So I was a transfer student actually at NC State and I knew very few people within the civil engineering department at the time that I was deciding to study abroad and so this experience gave me a chance to reach out and make really good friends within my department that I'm still friends with now and we still hang out and we still have little mini reunions with our professors and all of us get together and share experiences and even into the working world I, I'm, I'm sure some of us will stay in contact and work together because 
the, the friends you make and the experience you share on this trip are just really like really really deep kind of friendship bonds and I mean you share rooms together you, you know you have trouble on homeworks together you stay up late and I mean it's just kind of combines so much into one that you make really good friends and even if you don't know people before you go on this trip I mean you're going to be guaranteed to be really good friends after the experience is over.